Paul O'Grady passed away just one week before he was due to start a new job at Boom Radio. The veteran presenter, who quit BBC Radio 2 last summer, was scheduled to present a special Easter Sunday show on Boom. But sadly, the much-loved star died unexpectedly and peacefully on Tuesday night at the age of 67. Paying tribute to Paul, a message posted on the Boom Radio Twitter account said, There are few broadcasters who attract the love Paul did. The response to the last show was enormous, listeners felt he'd popped around to their house over lunch. That was his gift. The statement, from Boom Radio co-founder Phil Riley, ended, Our thoughts are with his family and friends. Paul and his producer pal Malcolm Prince had worked together on a Christmas show at Boom Radio. And he was due to start a new job at the radio station next month, where he would have a regular Sunday slot, like he used to have at the BBC. But sadly Paul died before he could begin his new role, leaving the nation devastated. Stars paying tribute to the TV and radio legend included veteran and former Radio 2 presenter DJ Ken Bruce. Ken, who will present a new mid-morning show on Bauer's Greatest Hits Radio from April, said, I was always amazed by how easily Paul slipped into the style of radio presentation, because... You know, he was a comedian and an actor, and the two don't always work together. But Paul came in, and it was as if he'd been in a radio studio all his life. Sir Elton John was another big star paying tribute to Paul following his death, and recalled how he hosted his and future husband David Furnish's stag do. Writing on Instagram, the singer said, saddening news to hear of Paul O'Grady's passing this morning. A brilliant entertainer, wit, and supporter of LGBTQ plus rights and the fight against AIDS and HIV who I was fortunate enough to spend time with including when he hosted at David Furnish's and my stag party before our civil partnership in 2005. Thank you for all the joy you brought into the world, Paul. You went places nobody had gone before and we will miss you very much. Queen Camilla also paid an emotional tribute to Paul O'Grady saying she is deeply saddened by his death. Paul was very close with the royal family and had a particularly special relationship with the Queen Consort, who worked with him to support Battersea Dogs and Cats Home. A palace source said Camilla was deeply saddened by the death of Paul who was described as having a warm heart and infectious humor that lit up the lives of so many. The pair filmed a Christmas special of For the Love of Dogs last year, with Camilla hosting a garden party to celebrate Battersea's 160th anniversary. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at Trinidamirror. Come or call us direct 0207 29